Okay, so today we're gonna be campfire cooking some pork side this ribs. This grill is still a little too hot to put our ribs on, but I'm going to spray it at this point. So I always spray it down with just um, you know, just any kind of butter spray or any kind of oil spray that you have. But I spray the grill down so that you don't have any sticking. Yeah, it'll cause a little bit more of the fire to go, but you kind of want to make sure you do this as a crucial step. I find if you don't, your food will stick. Cast iron, any kind of campfire cooking you do, make sure you use a lot of oil. Help prevent your sticking, and you'll enjoy your meal more. It won't burn. Hey everyone, sorry, my turkey's crazy and is like in love with the, these ribs, but anyhow. So, the ribs are now ready to go on. As you can see, that is a perfect cooking fire. So that's what you're looking for. You want to get nice coals like that, that are burning red, low fire, only kissing the top of the grill. And we're going to put these ribs now on opposite the fire. There they are. These guys were boiled, so you pre-boil them for about, I'd say 20 minutes, 30 minutes on a low boil. And I just added salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Paul's famous rib sauce. It's like all around barbecue sauce. I use it literally on everything. I absolutely love it. It's a secret barbecue sauce, so I'll have to get him to tell me the recipe. <laughs> okay, let's get grilling. Alright, this grill is nice and hot. It's been sitting over this fire for about 10-15 minutes as it burned down. I'm going to put the ribs on now. I'm just going to stick them on there. Remember, I, I pre-oiled this before so my ribs don't stick. But you're still going to want to keep lathering them in the barbecue sauce. Just because, you know, saucy ribs are better. And also, it'll kind of bake on the barbecue sauce to your ribs, almost caramelizing your sauce and bakes it right into those ribs. Oh, it's beautiful. And if you scored your ribs, you now scoring means you just cut lines into the bottom of the ribs. It'll, the flavor will penetrate. The flavor will penetrate and your ribs will be that much better. Especially if you've marinated them for a couple days beforehand, like we have done. So how I prepare my ribs is I sit them in a marinade for about 24 to 48 hours um, with brown sugar, mustard, and salt. And I'll heat that up and let it all dissolve and then I'll cool it down and then let my ribs sit in there for like I said 24 hours to 48 hours. And then afterwards I'll take them out, boil them for about 20 minutes on a low boil. And then you're going to take them out, season them. I use salt, pepper, garlic powder slather them in your favorite barbecue sauce and stick them on the grill. Oh, sorry, and before you marinate them, the very first step, you want to make sure that you score your ribs. Now, scoring it is taking off the excess fat that's on the bottom there and just slicing some lines in them. So, it's a little tip to make your ribs a little bit better for your next barbecue cookout. Okay. So, and now that they're, they have been boiled, so they're pre-cooked, you just want to kind of get that nice charcoal taste to them. The turkeys are going crazy. They're all sitting here in the sun right now, catching some rays, getting warm. Loving life. It's just like the meat birds. All the animals, actually everything on this homestead is treated with respect. And they're all spoiled rotten. these guys. Yep. Okay, so now that we've flipped them, it doesn't take long. You're just going to kind of take your barbecue sauce. You can always add extra and lather the ribs. So make sure you do this whenever you flip to make sure the sauce caramelizes into your ribs and gives it a nice crispy coating. The ends will be the best. You see these burnt ends? Oh, that's gonna be so amazing. It's gonna taste like a campfire glory. 
Okay. Now these are just about done. I'm gonna to wanna to flip them because again, the fire's a little hot, but that's all right. I just gonna wanna kinda of turn them around. Turn them around. And there we go, and even charcoal. I'm gonna actually kind of move them away from this flame a little bit more too. But they're looking perfect. Okay, I always say campfire cooking at its finest. These babies are done with that. Nice grill. And since they were already pre boiled, they only take a little bit. Okay, take these off. And at this stage, if you want to put another coating or barbecue sauce on, that's up to you. I like them just as is, I don't want them too saucy. And there you have it. Campfire barbecue side ribs. Can't go wrong with that.